Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a SAJ Saj Solar Inverter. It's a grid tied inverter. I want to test it today. I bought it at an auction for small money. This one is a Sun Uno TL4KB. It is a 125 volt DC to 440 volt DC input and it puts out four and a half, well, four kilowatts, kind of continuous. So I've got a string of solar panels I can attach to this straight away and see about getting about 200 190 volts into it to see if it starts up and see what happens to it i bought it for maybe 20 quid so i'm not expecting anything anything special any illegal tempering activity to electronic or mechanical components will affect the validation of the factory guarantee I'm not too worried about that i don't know if anyone's been in here already it's got four screws on the outside and to hook it up, I need to slot it into something. And I'm thinking a couple of pieces of wood screwed to the door of my uh, little shed and then just slot it onto that with a couple of screws or something. I'll figure that out now. So I've got a three by two screwed to the door here and I've got a little screw in that. I'm hoping it'll just slide onto that and then the next one I can offer up. Oh dear, it's heavy. Oh. Right, let's see. Why is that not fitting? My screws. not far enough forward. I'll move it forward and all I'm trying to do is hang it up near my cables. Right, let's try that. Oh, it must weigh 25 kilos. There, so that's it on. Now, somehow I have to figure out figure out how to get this one on. The easiest thing would be to screw it up in situ, wouldn't it? I think this is in the way. In fact, I could just screw it down here first. Screw it further down. Doesn't seem to mind that. Oh, it's not going. It's actually not going anywhere, so that's good enough for me. So I'm at a somewhat jaunty angle with the camera, but that's where I am. So the machine isn't connected yet. It's got what looks like two and a half mil cable coming to it. So I'm gonna run it on a safety block just through a standard plug. I haven't been into this one before I don't think. Let's have a look. There we go. It feels good in us. Oh something. It's an earth cable. Okay. that up there which doesn't really help but oh, okay right that's stuck on top then so looking at this there's a strip connector in here and I presume it has the right colors um, yes it's connected correctly by the looks of things so I'll get it up attached to my safety block these are like a, basically a plug but they're quick so if you don't know why a plug, you just snap them in and then once they're shut, there's a breaker, a guillotine in here. And then underneath I've got some solar connectors. Now this one's quite interesting because it has its own DC rotary switch built in. At the moment it's off, that's on, that's off, there's nothing connected to it. And both strings come in separately but are just wired together here. So it looks like whatever you give it, it'll just come in together. So up underneath, I have to get these things out. Click and click. So positive should be the front and it is. Negative to the rear. And it doesn't really matter if I use left or right. And this one interestingly has these rubber bungs that haven't been used. So now all I need to do is plug it into the mains. The DC is off at the moment. 
it's got two isolators so it's off and off plug it into the mains should all be live for mains I'll turn on the DC over on the wall here so this is coming from the solar panels turn it on underneath up here yeah there we go yellow on grid inverter grid connect it's got a three minute start up by the looks of it it's whistling in a bizarre what would you call it electronic way 181 so it's three minutes to go it's quite slow start up it should have about 190 volts on it at the moment and it's there's no sun right now so it shouldn't put out much more than 100 watts i'd say very clean inside i wonder if it's ever been opened there's a big 20 amp fuse in there. Um, I had an issue with a fuse on the solar river and I replaced it with a 13 amp and it worked fine. So that was one problem solved. I don't know if there's anything wrong with this. I'm hoping that there's nothing wrong with it. Power on the AC side's coming in over here. Into that fuse. There's a couple of big toroidal chokes, are they? Lots of relays up here, big capacitors. I asked Andy about this and he thought these were capacitors buried in here. No, maybe not capacitors. Maybe they were, I can't remember. This one, I don't know, does it look a bit more Chinesey than the, the ABB? The ABB is made in Italy, but apparently they don't like running too hot. This one's got 494 watts coming out of it right now. The solar panels for that are filthy. The solar panels for this one were cleaned this morning. So they're, they should be clean. Let's go out while it's doing that and I'll show you what we're testing it with. So we've actually got sun outside now. Albeit somewhat obscured. These panels here are driving the ABB. They're covered in dust from building work and poo from birds. The five up here are going to the new, whatever it was, SAJ, S-A-J inverter. So I was up there this morning putting pigeon guards on top and I haven't finished that job yet because I've got some other stuff to do before I finish them off. But I've got pigeon guards along the top and it's a just in case thing really more than anything. Because once the scaffolding's gone, I'll struggle to get them up. So for the sake of a few quid now, they're up. How are we doing here? 54 seconds. We'll be back in a minute then. So five to go. Now there's a click of a relay. It's doing something. Grid connecting is what it tells me. Right, it's just working by the looks of things, although it's flashing green, it's saying it's normal. It knows what day it is, which means the internal memory battery is probably working, 23rd of is it the 23rd or the 22nd today? And it's out by about 25 minutes, half an hour. But it's putting out 50 watts. And that's coming up as the sun moves. Now, why is it flashing green? I don't know what that means, and flashing yellow. If I can have a look up here, I don't want to pull this down because I'm going to struggle to get it out. Ah, power is yellow and run is green. So yellow is okay, red is off, which means there's no fault, and green's flashing, which maybe is what it does. This one here, power is constant green, and then alarm is a separate one. And that's GFI, I don't know what that means. 87 watts, can't go wrong. This looks to be a bit of a success here, really. It's kind of amazing. So I bought this for, 15 somewhere in the region of 15 to 25 pounds plus the auction commission so i might have spent 20 or i might have spent 30 on it and it's making electricity that's quite amazing i didn't need to take off the cover except to check that the wiring was correct over here wonderful i'll just leave this to to chooch for a while then and it'll just do 100 watts and you can't go wrong. Happy days.
So before I cover it up and leave it for a few hours, I just had a look inside and you can see that writing on the board there, 2012-04-20, so it's 10 years old, just over, when the board was made, and this one's 2012 as well, so about 10 years old. I don't know why it was decommissioned. I've, what I was told was it came off local authority housing, uh, but whether or not that's true, I don't know, that's just a, a rumor from the auction house. Nevertheless, pretty good value. So the scenario here is completely overcast and it's about three or four hours later and we're still normal and if it gives me anything, 42 watts and the other system's doing 74 watts. So that's about as good as you're gonna do, I think. It's working, Sag solar inverter. Happy days. No fixing on this one, that's excellent. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.